St David's Church was built in 1898 to replace the old one near the Tyne River. The carved and painted Roderos altarpiece is a superb example of Martin Travers' work. He was a leading figure in the so-called Back to Baroque movement in England during the early part of the 20th century, which aimed to re church fittings. It depicts the three Marys coming to Jesus' tomb only to find it empty except for an angel who tells them he has risen. The scene depicts a seminal moment in Christian history. These women form the first group of Christian witnesses to the Saviour's resurrection. Each one holds a differently shaped container for the amalgams of spices they intended to use myrrh, frankincense, cinnamon, cassia, omcha, and galabum in order to honour their beloved friend and teacher they came. The robed angel tells them Jesus has gone ahead to Galilee. The amount of gilding on these excellently carved figures gives them a truly 17th century Baroque look. And like orthodox iconography, the depth and glow from the 24 karat gold gilding pulls the viewer right into the scene. However, as is custom with this artist's work in both glass and wood, he leaves enough space for the eye to rest and wander over the piece, unlike true Baroque, which is always so jam-packed with imagery, it's often difficult to absorb. There's been two millennia worth of debate over the true identities of the three Marys. Some suggest Mary, the mother of Jesus, was among them, whilst others say it was Mary Salome with Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Joseph. As witnesses to Jesus' resurrection, their presence in Jerusalem soon became untenable, and rumour has it that they were all unceremoniously bundled off in a boat, along with Joseph of Arimathea, and set adrift in the Mediterranean. But whoever they were, and wherever they went, they are cherished here by all who worship at St. David's, who, just like they did at Gethsemane, continue to honour and serve him in this remote little place.